Good evening, Lord. Today is Wednesday, September 27, 2023. Jump date for Thursday, 28th. All right, let's go. Well, no changes in the portfolio. LFMD right at the new highs, new closing highs. If it continues to do that, obviously, we'll begin to cinch that stop up on that. We'll take a look at the, on that one. We'll take a look at the portfolio in just one second. Notice I adjusted the parameters on the ELF. Ideally, I'd like to see it pull back further. And we get the stop a little close. The stop actually widened out a smidge on this, but the entry just raised up a little. I like to see them, the pullback increase to where we could use a little bit tighter stop, and that'll make sense should it occur. And I'll maybe show you that in the charts here. In fact, we'll do that right now. So let's take a look at ELF. As you can see, it still looks pretty ugly in here. On a little bit deeper pullback, like I was saying, we get the entry a little higher up, and then we'll bring the stop up, and maybe we can give it a little bit less room on the stop so let's just take things here it comes one day at a time not much to look at in the lander list tonight in fact this one will probably come off tomorrow i'll just kind of show you what i'm seeing out there i actually saw a few energies fail today in spite of energies being generally strong so that's kind of an interesting development before we get to that in the overall market let's take a look at the portfolio new closing high in lfmd you know me big fan of that close right here at these multi-year highs big old fat bottom there longer term that looks fantastic you never seen one day at a time there i said it again <laughs> plus the market's not fantastic but so far it hasn't uh, paid much attention to the market and that's a good thing obviously kbh still looks like it's in a lot of trouble a little bit of a bounce there but that looks like a major top remains in place you certainly wouldn't want to rush out and buy a stock that look like that knf finding a little support at the bottom of its range obviously honor your stop just in case, by the end of the day, up a half a point, better than the poke in the eye. So, I use the word hope, but hopefully, we'll continue to find support and then take out the top of that range. And as an IPO, obviously, that's a fantastic thing. Let's take a look at the overall market and quite a few other things tonight. I'll try not to go too long, I promise, but there's a lot I want to talk about. Dollar, banging out new highs with a little bit of vigor. The euro got absolutely smashed in here. Take a look at that. That's... That's a pretty ugly move for that. So let me just get those two out of the way. And while we're down here, let's take a look at bonds. Bonds banging out new lows with a little bit of vigor. So that's just not a good thing. Bonds down, obviously. Rates up. The P sold off fairly hard. Did close off their worst levels. It did manage to close, albeit slightly, in the plus column. We'll take it. We're due for a bounce in here. It's going to be the nature of that bounce. If it's just a retrace type of bounce, a corrective bounce, we want to however you want to look at it, short covering or whatever, then obviously the market is still in a lot of trouble. And it would really have to just go start going straight back up for me to get too, too excited about it uh, at this juncture. Take a look at the NASDAQ, a little bit of a sell-off there off its worst level. So better to poke at the eye. VIX is still very much stretched in here, as I posted earlier in Facebook, 26% plus last time. I check. Take a look at Apple beginning to break down. And this is of concern when these prior leaders, like we talked about in the Livermore presentation recently, when they correct and they don't come back all the way back to new highs or don't make new highs, and that does have a bit of a gatekeeper look to it, as you can see. That is just not a good thing, obviously. Let's take a look at the Rusty. Rusty bounced a little bit. Nothing to get too excited about here. Shorter term downtrend intermediate term to longer term much much more sideways as you can see it looks like it wants to come down and challenge the bottom of its range energy's had a decent day out of this shallow pullback here so that's a good thing maybe we'll see some setups here as i said a second ago i did see some stocks that have taken off out of pullbacks but have already stalled out and are looking questionable so that's a little bit concerning so we'll have to see if we get any setups there some areas continue to just implode in here foods boy that's looking pretty ugly huh down percent and a quarter today a lot of other areas just look abysmal as i've been saying over and over again financials looking questionable and toppy the list goes on and on manufacturing a little bit of a bounce today but still looks like a top remains in place here so most areas have top retail would be another one of those areas not looking so hot uh, didn't close in the plus column but off its worst level still as you can see pretty serious slide remains in place there software found a little support at these recent lows but i wouldn't get too excited about that that still looks like a major top is in place there. Sibby's kind of all over the place, but did manage to close a little higher on the day. So far, though, just maybe a tiny bounce from 
oversold. So I think that's pretty much it. You kind of get the idea. Just look at a few recent services if you can stomach it <laughs> or, or if you can't sleep at night to see a little bit more about what I've been talking about, uh, the, the weakness and how ugly it is. But I think you get the, you get the idea. Anyway, I think that's it. Everybody have a fantastic night. We'll talk tomorrow. Thank you so much.